Hello everyone, it's Miss Connie from the Lebanon Public Library. Thank you for joining me. Are you ready to hear a story? All right, before we can hear one, we have to wake the book bunny up to help him get us started. So say those words with me. Here we go. Book bunny, book bunny. It's time for story time to begin. Hello, book bunny. Can you give everybody a wave? Can you wave back to the book bunny? Isn't it awesome that they're with us today? So I'm gonna set the book bunny aside and let's see what's in the mystery box for a clue. Mystery box, mystery box. What's inside the mystery box? Mystery box, mystery box. What's inside the mystery box? All right, let's see what's in that mystery box and we shall get a clue about our story. Let's lift the lid off. Inside the mystery box, there is an animal. This one happens to be brown and furry. He lives in something called a lair or a den or sometimes a cave. This animal hibernates during the winter. Are you thinking, what did you come up with? Did you come up with a bear? Well, hello there. Today, our story is going to be about a bear and it's called Bear Snores On by Karma Wilson. She's the author, she wrote the words to the story and Jane Chapman is the illustrator. So she did the artwork in the story. Here's our title page and the title is the name of the book. Bear snores on. Oh, look, I see the bear's footprints going into that dark cave. In a cave in the woods, in his deep, dark lair, through the long, cold winter, sleeps a great brown bear. Cuddled in a heap with his eyes shut tight, he sleeps through the day, he sleeps through the night. The cold winds howl and the night sounds growl, but the bear snores on. An itty bitty mouse, pitter pat tiptoe, creep crawls in the cave from the fluff cold snow. Mouse squeaks too damp, too dark, too dank, so he lights wee twigs with a small hot spark. The coals pip pop and the wind doesn't stop, but the bear snores on. Two glowing eyes sneak peek in the den. Mouse cries, who's there? And hare hops in. Ho, oh, mouse, says hare, long time no see. So they pop white corn and they brew black tea. Mouse sips, we slurp. Hair burps, big burp, burp, but the bear snores on. A badger scuttles by, sniffs, snuffs at the air. I smell yummy yums, perhaps we can share. I've brought honey nuts, badger says with a grin. Let's divvy them up, cozy down and dig in. And they nibble and they munch with a chew, chunk, crunch. But the bear snores on. A gopher and a mole tunnel up through the floor. Then a wren and a raven flutter in through the door. Mole mutters, what a night, what a storm, twitters wren. And everybody clutters in the great bear's den. Hare stokes the fire. Mouse season stew, then a small pepper fleck makes the bear a chew. He blows and he sneezes, and the whole crowd freezes, and the bear wakes up. Bear gnarls and he snarls, bear roars and he rumbles, bear jumps and he stomps. Bear growls and he grumbles. You've snuck in my lair and you've all had fun. 
But me, I was sleeping, and I have had none. And he whimpers, and he moans, and he wails, and he groans, and the bear blubbers on. Mouse squeaks, don't fret, don't fuss, look, see, we can pop more corn, we can brew more tea. Bear gulps, bear gobbles, he sighs with delight, then he spins tall tails through the blustery night. When the sun peeks up on a crisp clear dawn, bear can't sleep, but his friends snore on. I love that story about that hibernating bear. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you the next time. Bye.